Thank you for your interest in Juno orders. We're going to jump right into it. We're going to talk about the contact addresses. So each user in the system can now have multiple addresses. That's right here. You can take advantage of those in things like quotes. Our quote module allows you to quickly build a simple, easy to use quote, and it has a nice PDF feature that goes along with it and email templates. So once you add the various items such as the product, shipping, tax, discount, you're able to quickly generate a quote and preview the PDF which you can then click right there and email that to your customer. If they approve it, they send you a PO, you enter that here. From there you're going to create a sales order. Now that you have your sales order, you can maybe even drop ship it from a supplier. So you pick your supplier, add the items that you want to drop ship, create the PO, email it over to them, another nice PDF template, and put some tracking information in on that shipment. Now that you're done with that order, you can go ahead and create a bill you just do that by using the billing trigger and all of a sudden an invoice is created there's no balance well, there's a balance due on this one but if there was no balance due the customers invoice would have no balance due in this case they owe us some money so we're gonna PDF that and send that off now we need to create a purchase order for some product that we need on our own shelves so we're just gonna pick those items we were able to pick from a list of locations as well so that right on the PDF it shows our ship to as the default shipping address. Thanks for watching.